Pradal Saray, a Cambodian blood sport in which fighters use every part of their body to attack. From face pounding punches to bone shattering kicks, brutal knees, elbow strikes, even grappling. In this ancient Khmer boxing style, the roundhouse kick is called Kup Charm. The key to this move is kick speed and kick placement. Powered by the rotation of the hips and the strongest muscles in the body, the quadriceps, the wider and further the foot travels from the center of its axis, the more speed and power it picks up. At the point of contact, the kick is traveling 25 miles per hour and can impart 550 pounds of force, more than enough to cause a knockout or concussion. Delivered to the neck, it can fracture the cervical vertebrae. Another old school Khmer boxing move still popular today is this punch called Tupuk Kong Saddam. Similar to the right hook in boxing, the move begins with the fighter stepping diagonally towards his opponent. He then twists his hips, shifting his weight forward and catapulting his fist toward his target. Finally, the fist is rotated 90 degrees so that the palm is face down at impact. The rotation of the torso is the basis for the strike's power. Because the torso has an effective mass far greater than the arms, its rotation can impart up to 400% more force to the target. And the last minute rotation of the wrist can magnify that force even more. Traditional Khmer fighting also employs a variety of wrestling moves, such as this takedown called Oop Claw. The move begins from the clinch, locking your hands behind your opponent's upper back and squeezing tight. You arch your back and lift your opponent off the ground. The chin is then dug into the opponent's sternum, and the locked hands are then dropped to the lower back and pulled sharply inward. This forces your opponent underneath your body weight and eventually to the ground. Locking the hands puts you in control of your opponent's center of mass, which in turn negatively affects his conditional stability. Dropping the hands behind the lower back and driving your chin into his chest further disturbs his center of mass and makes resistance from this position nearly impossible. In Pradal Saray, more knockouts come by way of elbow than any other strike. Knockouts such as this elbow slash. The first step is to close the distance and block an opponent's attack with the outside hand. Then, you step in and slash the elbow back and forth across the opponent's face. The first elbow strike can accelerate to a speed of 25 miles per hour in less than a quarter of a second. Less than a third of a second later, the initial strike is followed by another equally devastating shot by employing the bony tip of the elbow. These strikes deliver a double dose of injury-producing energy. Another fierce Pradal Saray move is demonstrated in this brutal flying knee and elbow combination. Charging at full speed, you explode into the air and drive the spear that is the knee into your opponent's solar plexus. Then, as the opponent buckles forward, you slam your elbow into the crown of their skull. By propelling your body into the air, you effectively become a human missile, hurling your entire body mass into your opponent's gut. The force created by the body's forward momentum is partially absorbed by your opponent, which can knock the wind right out of him, or even crack a rib. But the coup de grace is the elbow chop. Pradal Saray, an art that dates back centuries, is making a strong comeback. And any fighter who masters brutal strikes and techniques such as these can become a real-life human weapon.